Hello guys, welcome to a new vlog. I am just getting ready for therapy, which is in 30 minutes, and I've been watching the Brian Koberger arraignment. Um, the trial starts October 2nd, but I don't know. Anything could happen in between then, so we'll see. So today is my ninth therapy session. Um, super excited, 12th one. Um, I just get reevaluated, reassessed, you know, just talk, see, has my relationship with food changed? Am I healing from trauma? Um, and I would like to say that yes, I am. And yes, my relationship with food has changed. I will never be perfect. And that's not what they're wanting for me or aiming for. They're not looking for perfection. They're looking for progress. And that is definitely happening. So I am happy about that. I only got a few hours of sleep last night. So I am just like, really tired like my whole body is just so tired so i'm open to like fall asleep early tonight i don't know i just have the most energy at nighttime it's crazy i wish i could just feel this tired at night because right now i am just tired oh and also good news i got my timu order um it actually came in the mail today so i'm gonna get that uh in the mail after my therapy and then i think i'm gonna film a whole unboxing i'm super excited i ordered over 50 items ah. um and i did it all for video purposes um so yeah i'm excited to film that and just like kind of give my little review because i have seen so many people talk about timu and i'm like i want to give it a go hello hello appointment is finished so i have to do a lot of like therapy homework it's a lot of like paper and writing and you guys know me i love that so the one that I had to do last week was um, challenging questions. It was like um, I had to choose a stuck point and I chose I can't trust anyone. And you had to answer 10 like hardcore questions. Um, and then so this week's homework is patterns of problematic thinking worksheet. I have to give examples of to when I do these things. Um, jumping to conclusions when the evidence is lacking or even contradictory let's hope I pronounce that right because you guys know me after um therapy I can't talk and the reason why I film right after therapy is because it's like fresh in my mind and I just do not want to think about it for the rest of the day and I just want to get you guys and um talk to you guys like as soon as therapy is done like a fresh mind and I noticed that I'm not being super like over sharing my therapy sessions I'm definitely keeping a lot of it um you know, internal because it is private, but I try to share as much as I can. So, um, the things that I have to do is the jumping to conclusions one. Um, I have to give an example of when I exaggerate or minimize a situation, when I disregard important aspects of a situation, when I over simplify, simplify things as good or bad or right, wrong. Um, when I over generalize, I cannot talk. When I over generalize from a single incident, um when I do like mind reading which is like you assume people are thinking negatively of you when there is no like definite evidence for this and then the last one is emotional reasoning when you have a feeling so you assume there must be like a reason like you assume that you are correct in that so I feel like for me like the one that I do the most is definitely like the mind reading where I assume people are thinking negatively even though there's no evidence or the emotional reasoning I'm also very, um, I oversimplify things, I feel like, where it's like the good, bad, right, wrong. Um, but I do do all these. These are very normal. Like my therapist said, like, these are normal. Everyone does these things. But we want to go a little bit deeper. Let's let's talk about those deeper. So that is my homework for this week. Um, therapy, this session went really good. Um, ever since I was diagnosed with PTSD, um, I have to fill out a worksheet every single week right before the appointment and my scores have already lowered. So therapy <laughs> works, children, do it. Um, I wish, obviously I wish I would have done it sooner, but um, that doesn't matter. The past is the past. We are definitely focusing on now and the present is amazing because I'm doing this and I'm improving and it just, I don't know, it's pretty great. And something else, um, we talked about I get overly emotional when I like talk about my brother and how you know the things that he's going through I'm not going to get into detail because that's not 
for me to say. And my therapist told me that like, he feels like I forget that I am also going through a lot. Like, because I'm constantly putting myself in like my brother's shoes and like feeling guilty over the things that he's going through, even though they're not my fault. My therapist says I need to f learn and figure out how to focus more on like me. Like I also am going through a lot. And that was really interesting because I do get super emotional when it comes to uh, my brother. And I am always putting myself in his shoes. And my therapist is like, yeah, you're an empath for sure. <laughs> I started LOLing. I was like, yeah, I'm so quirky. I don't know. I just really like this therapist. It's He's pretty great. I'm going to go get my Timu order now because I'm excited. So <gasps> let's go look at that. You had to make the noise. Hello? Hi, Timu. Love your stuff. Love it. It's great quality. I have a mess, though. All right, bye. I need help. So I already filmed my Timu haul, so go watch that. But look at this mess. Look at this crazy mess I have to clean up. I'm about to do that right now. All right, you guys. <laughs> So I want to show you if this thing actually works from Timu, okay? So, uh, Rarity was just brushed, and now you just press this button, and the fur is supposed to come off easily, so let's see if it's true. <gasps> that was so satisfying. I want to put it back just to do it again. <laughs> you guys, look at these cards I got from Timu. If you guys have not watched that video, you definitely should because I got a lot. But look at these cards. Aren't they so cute? They were like 59 cents, like so cheap. And I just had to get it because I love playing cards. I'm a really good shuffler. Sadly, you cannot shuffle these. They're so tiny, look. And I just think miniature things are so adorable. Like I'm gonna sit here and play solitaire. Yes, I am. They're just so adorable. Teeny tiny. Oh my god, wait, the lighting is so bad. Hello. Okay, so I am wearing the shirt, the uh, Felina Bambi shirt. And I want to show you guys. A subscriber got it for me. And Felina's at work right now, so. But it fits. It's actually really loose. I don't know why, but like when I opened the package, I was like, she looks a little small, but she actually fits me really good so i just want to say thank you um right now i'm doing a little bit of cleaning got some boxes to take to the recycling but i just had to show this that i love it it fits and thank you to the subscriber who got it for me and when Feline's wearing hers i'll show you my hair is giving um i've just been doing some spring cleaning today so it's giving um you're a mess because i am at least my apartment's not so first of all, I just want to say thank you guys so much um, for just like the sweet support and kind words um, because of my dietitian appointment video. Um, you guys are rooting for me just as much as I am rooting for myself and just thank you so much. I feel like I talk more like in depth about like how I'm feeling um, and what I'm going through, like whether it be with like therapy or just life in general, weight loss over on my Instagram. So you guys need to like follow me over there because it's like popping over there and I do it because I love talking to you guys so you definitely should go my username is hi dot I'm Bambi or whatever I'll just put it right here so yeah this is my username look at that Twinkie back there she's so sweet but I just took my medicine and it reminded me because I had someone ask me on Instagram do you not take Lamictal for your bipolar anymore so I just wanted to answer that question that I actually was taken off of Lamictal um it was slowly decreased obviously Lamictal is not one you mess with because it clearly wasn't working for me. I was having, you know, my mood swings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And Zoloft actually works for people with bipolar 2. Let me rephrase that. It can work for people with bipolar 2. All medicine is different. So, um I take Zoloft for anxiety and my psychiatrist said, "Let's just try to like have you take Zoloft for not only your anxiety, but your bipolar." And I was like, "Okay, let's give it a go." So, I'm officially on 50 milligrams a day and I notice a complete change 
like it feels really good so we're just seeing how that does um i was taking lamictal sadly um irresponsibly on and off for like the last five years so now that i'm like taking my medicine like on time the same time every single day i just feel such like an improvement look at this baby oh my goodness oh by the way um if you guys remember from my timu that little toy um that like chirped it makes like a frog noise that i got for rarity rarity was playing with it and so was twinkie so they both love that um i'm trying to give you guys random updates about that timu haul that timu haul was so fun so if you guys have not seen it you definitely need to go watch because i had the time of my life which reminds me another timu update remember how i told you how i got a case for my cell phone charger and i was like so confused on how it would work well feline figured it out my cell phone charger is in the case and it's so cute it has this cute heart i think this would be good for like if you have like cats that chew on wires and stuff thankfully my cats do not do that but i feel like if you have cats that do this might be a really good protectant protectant if that's a word all right so feline is wearing the shirt as well and look at the cup she's using also from a subscriber <laughs> so thank you thank you look at twinks so what do you think of the sweater baby you like it sweater i mean the shirt the sweater <laughs> Is it comfy? It's so cozy. Yeah, so she's going to be sleeping in that tonight. Hello, hello. I'm actually starting my vlog because I need to use you guys as a mirror. <gasps> I don't have a mirror near me. I wanted to add some of my lip stuff. I don't even remember what brand this is, but I love it. It has a little cat. Isn't that so cute? So I actually have a doctor's appointment today, so I am headed to do that so we're actually about to leave not really looking forward to it no one likes to go to the doctor but uh it's important that i go and i want to show you i've always wanted an orchid and last night feline she just ran to the store real quick i stayed home because i wanted to edit the timu video for you guys um by the way the timu video originally was over an hour long and it came out to 31 minutes like I edited it down so hard, but she surprised me with an orchid. I've always wanted one. It's a real live orchid. And yeah, I just, I don't know. It made me a little emotional. because so I was like, damn, that is so sweet. So I got a little baby orchid. Look how beautiful. So yeah, I just thought that was super nice of her. Alrighty, you guys, let's go to the doctor. So I might be the only one on planet Earth who feels this way, but when it's really hot outside, when you first get into the car, like how hot it feels, I low-key like that feeling. Like it just feels so good. I think it's because we keep our apartment at 72 degrees, so it's like cold in there. So when I get in the car, it, it kind of feels like the feeling you get when you first get into a hot tub. It feels so good. Okay, so I just got out of my doctor's appointment and now we're at the good old Barnes and Nobles. And in my doctor's appointment, I lost one of my earrings. Well, it was like the earring back. So I got up in front of everyone and I like looked for it and I found it. <laughs> uh, it's called going out of your comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? Barnes and Noble. Okay, so we just got home. We ended up going to check the P.O. box. We had to go pick up some medicine from the pharmacy. If you guys want to send me anything on my P.O. box and see me open it in a future video, you can do that. Here is my P.O. box right here. I request that no one sends me food, please. But I do appreciate everything sent to me, but just no food. Mom, if you're watching, look far, far away because... You're about to see a gift I got, yes, so don't be looking. So I wanted to show you what I got at Barnes & Noble. I got my mom a little gift moment. Here's the bag. I want to put the gift in the bag because it just, you know, makes sense in my brain. So I got her this card. I literally thought it was so perfect. It has fireflies on them. And I remember when she came to visit me a few years ago, uh, she was sitting outside and she saw all the fireflies. And she was just like amazed 
how beautiful it was. So this instantly made me think of her. So I feel like she's really gonna love it. And it has this like 3D texture. It's honestly beautifully made. And then I also got her this gorgeous journal because she said that she really wanted a journal and she was just like say it in passing. And that's like the type of person that I am is like when someone says they want something like in passing, I keep that up here. So I got her this gorgeous journal, like it's stunning. So I feel like she's really gonna appreciate those things. And then I had to get something. So I had to tell myself no journals, no books. You have plenty of journals, you have plenty of journals, you have plenty of journals, you have plenty of journals and you have plenty of books. So <laughs> I got this funky fidget thinking putty because I am a fidgeter <laughs> and I saw the word fidget and I said I need her so I want to open it on here I have the tendency to smell literally everything and this has no scent look how pretty it's like clear with like confetti on the inside look oh my god I'm gonna have so much fun playing with this like I'm just gonna be watching YouTube Whatever it may be, just playing with it. I love it, it's so pretty and colorful. You think I'm a child. Next thing, I got this little uh, Lego mini figurines, mini figures. So there's 18 possible ones I could get and I really, really want the Corella DeVille. That is the one I'm hoping for. Intuition test, try to guess which one will Amberlynn get? <laughs> I wasn't filming when I opened it, which is unfortunate, but I opened it. Um, Feline said Jiminy Cricket, I say Corella, so let's see. Wait, what? Is it Mickey Mouse? Cause like there's this paper. Oh no, 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 no. Yes, no, yes. Damn it. All right, let me make it. All right, so it wasn't Mickey after all. I had to build her, it's Pocahontas. Not gonna lie, kind of love it, not mad at it. Okay, let's talk about Timu. So in this vlog, you see that I am hyping up Timu and the items that I got. And it's like, the items that I got, like it still stands. I like what I got. I think for the price, I am amazed. Like a cell phone case like this would normally be like 10, $20. This was like literally a dollar. Like I got 55 items for $172. Like that is crazy. That averages out like, three something per item. And I knew nothing about this company besides everything I saw, people were hyping it up, saying how cool the stuff was and how cheap it was. I didn't know any of like the background stuff. Like from point A to point B. Point A is when this is made, when this is packed, shipped to me, point B is me. I knew nothing about the back end. And you guys are coming in hot. I have gotten so many messages on Instagram. A lot of people, like, they're not good with constructive criticism at all. Like, telling me I'm gross, I'm a narcissist because I ordered from this company. Like, there's a difference between constructive criticism um, versus just, like, hatred. Then there's, like, a large portion of people who came at me with, like, Amberlynn, click this link, read this article, I think you should know about this because... Timu is actually, <laughs> actually a very bad company. There is a lot of bad practices. Um, I don't really know if I'm even allowed to discuss it on YouTube. I don't wanna break terms of service. I try my hardest to follow the rules here on YouTube, but I am letting everyone know that I heard you guys loud and clear and I read the articles and I did my research. I want to leave in the clips in this vlog where I'm hyping up Timu and I'm like, yeah, I love this item because it literally is a perfect example of how we're only paying attention to point B instead of A. You know, we're super excited. We got that cheap cell phone case. We got some cute earrings, et cetera, et cetera. But like, there's more to the story. And I'm a prime example of ignorance, not doing research on a company because in my mind, as someone who is ignorant, it's hard to believe that people are put under such horrible conditions just to make a few dollars. And some of these people don't even make any money. It's like slavery. It's very sad. And I think that this is a really good example of how I have a lot to learn just about life in general. And I will never ever be shopping from Timu again. So I do appreciate the people who came at me like with true 
constructive criticism. Like I appreciate it. I'm here to hear it. I'm here to learn. So again, thank you. And I truly, truly did not mean to offend or to give money to a company that does not at all deserve it. I am actually going to end this vlog. I hope that you guys did enjoy it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.